Hey everybody, it's Josh Connor in the Songwriters Circle here at the Opry Backstage Grill. Wednesday night Songwriters Night with the group Brassfield Alley. It's something great to get on your to-do list. Come on out here and enjoy the music and the food. Hit songwriter John Knight is in the Songwriters Circle tonight. How are you and what have you been up to, John? Doing great. I've just been uh, writing with this week Frankie Ballard and the Cadillac 3 and just all sorts of craziness. Writing songs. I had a number one party this week, so for the song We Were Us with Keith Urban and Miranda Lambert. So it's been a crazy week. Well, we've had a chance to hear uh, your material here on almost a weekly basis with Brassfield Alley's Cheap Shades. Great oh. song. Tell us a little bit about that. I wrote that song with a guy named Jimmy Robbins and Brett Beavers. And uh, I remember writing it because it's basically what the back of my Jeep looks like right now. It's cans rolling around and I can't ever find my shades. So I'm always buying gas station shades. And we just had the most fun I've had in a long time writing it. And then I heard they were gonna cut it and I was freaked out. And I've heard it on XM in Albuquerque, New Mexico and in Amarillo, Texas and here. So it's been pretty cool to just kind of see it rolling and going well. Had quite a few big songs this year. Tell us a little bit about Beachin'. Man, it has been, that's a song we wrote when I was, actually was down in Florida and I found out that we were having another baby. And I got back to town and I couldn't think of anything but the beach. And so we were sitting around trying to write anything but that, me and Jaron and a guy named Jaron from uh, Cadillac 3, a guy named Jimmy Robbins, and we wrote that song. And we just knew it was special the first day. It was fun. It was easy to listen to. And it was we actually popped a beer can, and it became part of the actual track. So it's just one of those fun songs, and Jake just nailed it, Jake and Joey Moy. And then uh, some crazy stuff like T. Payne's on a version of it now, and it just it's taken on a life of its own. And, it's a song with legs, as we say. <laughs> yeah, they said it went platinum, and, you know, that's pretty fun for a <laughs> beach song. We're you know, drinking leftover beach beer. Well, congratulations on all your success, and tell us your words of song wisdom for those up-and-coming writers that are out there. i tell you what, I've had a couple songs that I've written that I thought the day I was writing them, no one will ever cut this. And I just went ahead and wrote them because they were true to me and they felt good. And the people I was across the table when were living them and or I was living it. And the emotions were different than everything else that was going on. And those are the songs that I put away and thought never would get touched. And almost without fail, those are the ones that I turn in and people say, this is something. This is, you know, a Tim McGraw cut or a Thompson Square cut or all of these different songs that I thought no one will ever do this. They've done it. So I would just follow those because if you're different people are going to notice so that's worked for me john wright and the songwriter uh, john knight and the songwriter circle rather thank you so much thank you so much appreciate it remember you can find out more about songwriting you can see other interviews from hit songwriters and you can join the conversation too it's online for you right now josh connor and the songwriter see you there